Okay, so today I want to show the slip production, that means the shoot production from the sweet potato. So there is a very nice and easy techniques that we very quickly we can produce the shoot from there. So I have collected three types of sweet potato. This is in Malaysian variety. So this is called Iolo, Iolo sweet potato, Ubi Kledek Kuni. And this is called the purple sweet potato, Ubi Kledek Ungu. And this is called the uh, white sweet potato, Ubi Kledek uh, Puti. So these three types of potato I have collected from uh, the shopping mall. So today I want to show how to do or uh, how we can set for the shoot production. Our main purpose is to produce produce the shoot from that types of root that means it is on type of root crops the sweet potato so this you can see the any i have used three types of different cup plastic cup with water just some the simple very simple the tap waters you can use so this is a water cup or any food or food cup or even the, the water cup is in the small one so I have tried to explain that you can use any type of waste plastic cup from your house. I have used the transparent cup. You can use the non-transparent also. Okay, the transparent is better. You can show the you can see the rooting as well from the shoot. So firstly, our job is to produce the shoot from there. So after producing the shoot, then we have to separate the shoot and we have to put inside the water again for the root production. So from a root, we can produce so many shoot. At a time so firstly our job is to cut divide into two section so in a, uh, in, a in a sweet potato there are two of uh, end this one is called the uh, top end and the end uh, this is the another is what is called the uh, uh, another end so this end is usually connected with the mother plant and this is the growing portion this is will continue to grow so from both side we can produce the shoot but usually the end portion is usually called this is the top portion and this is the end portion the lower portion but both side we can use no problem but the top portion is usually they produce more shoot and you need just the a knife and the toothpick eh? normally you use the toothpick so just to hold inside this calf so now i want to show you how to do that and how to cut and then how to set into that water cup okay so now our first job is to cut the root and the, the, the tuberous root this is called the sweet potato from the middle so use a knife and just you can cut like that so very just make it half so like that okay so just two half so we can set later so i want one by one i'm cutting the portion so for this is called the white huh? inside the uh, vessel is white color the flesh is white color this one is purple color this is one of the malaysian very popular uh, sweet potato so their flesh is supposed to be purple so it is very nice this completely purple color so it's called purple variety and this one is the flesh is supposed to be yellow color so cut carefully during cutting make it around there eh? it's easier so this is yellow color or yellow flesh okay so now we have make it two section so now we have to use the toothpick eh? this is the toothpick so usually is three toothpick for one so because we have to dive into the water so you can take or we can add the extra water no problem when is the water so push like that usually we made three push like that there's another one that side okay so now deep here so when the is if water level is very low so you can add extra water just about one one centimeter is enough so deep into water so then you have to keep it about two weeks this is white variety so you have to keep it two weeks but every day you have to check the water level eh? supposed to be one centimeter deep into the water if you see the water is already dried or uh, what is called the vaporized so you can add extra water so this is white variety so you can keep like that then this is uh, i mean the uh, the top space is very more so maybe we can use four eh? 
due to the balance to make it balance so we can use four toothpick here three is okay but to keep the proper balance uh, exact balancing because the space is bigger okay sorry you can use the another one okay so like that as this is a water is already low so later we have to add extra water and you have to ensure that the at least one centimeter dip into the water more you can do that because the shoot will be produced from the top so this is purple then this is the yellow so as this is it depending on the top espresso so we can use the three no problem okay two and another one is that three okay, now dip into water so this one is almost okay so now you have to check every day the water level and you have to wait within one week supposed to be they will start the uh, shooting so after that within two weeks we can we can see the so more many many shoots already produced from the this root then later when the the shoot is about 10 centimeter five or this cut eight to ten centimeter or more can also okay then you have to sleeve that means cut from the root then the shoot we have to dip into the water again for rooting so that means it can confirm after transplanting the is that means there is no loss or there is no dead uh, the, or, or the gap from the transplanting so whatever shoot you are transplanting so you can assure that more than 90 percent they will be survived so this is the way that how we can do for the shooting from the sweet potato this is the most easiest way and uh, in in any types of convenient uh, in, in your house you can do that no need any the what is called the cold room or whatever else nothing just we can dip into water then we have to wait about two weeks to produce the shoot from there after that we have to set for the rooting so this is the silly production or shoot production from sweet potato okay so this is how it looks like after completion so all the three roots is inside the cup water cup with the water and dip into water is usually uh, you can use more than one centimeter but minimum you have to maintain minimum one centimeter dip into the water so this is how it looks like then you have to leave it in any place at your house but please avoid the i mean uh, the hot uh, kitchen place or some there is the temperature is very high in normal condition you can keep it and just you have to wait about two weeks then after that you can see the the huge shoot is already produced from the top portion of the that sweet potato as very nice techniques and easy techniques that we can produce shoot from here okay that's all okay so this is exactly after two weeks so two weeks before i set for the shooting uh, this cup silly production so today is already uh, day 15 actually so that means two weeks later so is uh, profuse you can see profuse number of shoot already produced from here and extra long enough so now what we can do now we have to sleeve that means remove detach the shoot from here and we have to dip into water again for reshooting from the individual shoot so very nice the approach this one is a little bit solo but it's still very nice so this is the way so you can see how the roots has been grown up eh? huge number of roots from the uh, i mean cutted root of the sweet potatoes and this is all through the every single shoot and very nicely grown and this one is still growing a little bit solo this one and this one is also okay this is different variety this one is a yellowish color this you can see the huge number of roots is already there this is supporting root just to help for the for the shooting and this is uh, the purple varieties these both are purple varieties and there is one other another one was white so this one already fungal affected so i have removed that one from here so you can see the huge number of shoot that means slip production from sweet potato just by two weeks then today what we have to do we have to sleep uh, remove just by hand we can remove that shoot and we have to 
re in re have to uh, set for the shooting uh, routing from that shoot so then uh, by one week huh? just for one week is enough so by two one week then we can transplant in the main field so this is the called the shoot production from uh, sweet potato quick shoot production actually very quick uh, so just for two weeks and even by one week uh, i have, have tried to see huge number of this another week just for the proper growth and development of the shoot and we have to do the another week for the shooting from the special or individual this shoot so that i can uh, show you now how to remove the shoot from that root then we have to set for the uh, routing from the that uh, branches okay so now i want to show how to uh, remove this produce shoot from the main root then we have to reset for the uh, rooting from that so just remove by hand is okay so just like that you can remove so this one then you have to soak into another new water again so they will produce new root just by one week they will produce the root so like that just remove from the mother root then deep into the water those are sufficiently grown eh? so all this sufficiently grown so like that we have to remove every individual shoot from here then we have to re -soak for root production from that special or individual shoot like that so just remove all and this one you just keep to see another new shooting from there so this is also properly grown just remove you can see they have already started to produce root. Huh? This is small, small rooting in its root initiation from here. So very nicely, it's very small, small. So they will produce the new root again. So when you can see, just by one week is enough. So after one week, see, you can see they have produced some of the new roots. Huh? The initiation of root will already happen. So now just you have to dip into water. As this one is two different varieties, so better use two different uh, pots or calf for the different variety if you have different varieties this one single variety then you can keep all together in one cup for the uh, root proper root growth, growth from that uh, new shoot okay if there is the, some dry leaves so just remove so this fresh one just dip into water okay this one is still growing so i am not removing that one so that's all so i am i want to show you the shoot, root huh? very nice huh? huge number of roots are the supporting root that is helping to uh, produce huge number of shoot from there so this is the overall way or methods of quick shoot production from sweet potatoes just by two weeks you can produce huge number of new shoot so new new shoot i have already given to water just wait for another one week so by one week they, you can see they have produced new root from here then you can transplant into the main field or whatever you have special pod you have so just to and you have to wait for the root production from there the reroot from there so that's all about the quick methods the shoot production is another term is for silly production from sweet potato okay so just one week before i set the newly produced shoot into another fresh cup for the rooting from there so you can see very nicely they have produced huge number of roots now this is completely ready to transfer into your main field or wherever places or wherever media you want to grow for the final grain so meaning is that one week before i detached that shoot newly grown shoot from the mother root and i replace into a fresh calf for the rooting from there so you can see you can see just by one week just by one week eh, how nicely they have produced the huge number of roots so now you can transplant this newly grown shoe, shoe root with the shoot so you can see completely ready to transplant into your desired media or in the main field whatever you want to grow so you can see very nicely produced the root this is enough so now you can transplant so for this, this is the easiest method and we can say this is very confirmed that while we are transplanting into the main field, this already have huge number of roots. So 
it will not die normally if there is any other environmental stress is there so this is the nice process very quick process the silic production or shoot production from the mother root of the sweet potato and just you can set the root you can dissect or the full or the full size of the sweet potato into the water or you can make it to half and set for the root shooting and after two weeks you can remove the shoot from the mother root and soak into water for rooting from that newly grown shoot so very nice very quick and confirm that after transplanting it will continue to grow so okay this is very nice and grow and you can try at your home and if you have the planning to grow sweet potato and in the end when you will grant that you are confirmed that your plant is will be survived nicely okay